A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. Actually, no, not a galaxy far, far away. This was in my bedroom. The same bedroom I'm recording this video in right now. Back in, I believe it was 2019, we made a video talking about a prospect that wasn't going to be drafted for two seasons, but we said that this guy could be the best defenseman prospect since Rasmus Dahlin. And the reason we said that was because this guy was supposed to be better than all the players that were drafted in 2019, or at least the defenseman drafted in 2019, the defenseman drafted in 2020, and this guy would have been taken in 2021. Today, we're revisiting that same player, but going over how things have progressed for this guy and where he is today. Let's talk about LA Kings 2021 first round pick, eighth overall, it is Brant Clark. Now, pause before we dive into this. I know some people would go out there and say, wait a minute, Lego, what the hell are you talking about? Best defenseman prospect since Darlene? I mean, in 2021, you had two guys go above Brand Clark in both Luke Hughes and Owen Power. What are you talking about, bro? And yeah, that's kind of the thing that you have to face when you talk about prospects two to three years before they end up getting drafted, but... Back in this time frame, when we made this video all that time ago, Brant Clark was supposed to be so gosh darn good. We had some scouts in the OHL, not in the OHL, in the Ontario area, saying things about how Brant Clark's transition game, his agility, his skating, his mobility, his fluidity, it all combined for a package that, playing for the Don Mills Flyers in the Greater Toronto Hockey League, the AAA scene, he looked like a right-handed Quinn Hughes out there, scoring 100 points in 73 games played. Now, there were some other really good NHL prospects on that same team, Shane Wright for one, Brandon Othman for others, but Clark Wright and Othman made up this group that a lot of people were looking at with super high praise because they were only 15, 16 years old and doing some very good things. Fast forward a few years later, and Brant Clark has eventually played in the OHL. He had a season in Slovakia because the OHL shut down for 2020-2021. But this recent season that he had, wherein he had 55 games played as the captain of the Barry Colts, he scored 59 total points. This is a pretty good year for a guy who was 19 years old on the season, and he still has an opportunity to play for Barry once again. This is the scouting report on elite prospects for Brand Clark. He wants to make something happen every time the puck is on his stick, and he is not afraid to push the play himself to see it through. Clark's brain and ability to process the movement of others on the ice to make his own reads is elite. He sees things that others do not. He's patient with the puck, and he allows the play to develop before he makes his decision. If there's an opportunity to join the rush, he does it, and if there isn't, he creates one and joins anyway. Brent Clark is an offensively-minded defenseman who's got so much going for him in terms of his offensive capabilities, his passing, his playmaking, his puck skills, his shooting ability as well. And if you go over to the Dauber reports throughout the 2021-2022 season, you'll see a lot of similar praise on Clark as to how he ended up developing this season in the OHL. This is the most recent report on Dauber from, what is that, May 2022, written by Sean Crocker. Clark had a dazzling regular season with the Colts of the OHL, posting up 59 points. He was unable to suit up for any playoff games for the Colts due to a knee injury. Despite the unfortunate end of his season, Clark still holds tremendous value for the LA Kings organization as a former 8th overall pick in 2020. Should say 2021. While he can run a power play with pinpoint precision and transition the puck on a moment's notice, Clark is no slouch when it comes to physical play, as he loves throwing his mature 6'3 frame around when he can. Clark is an absolute fantasy gem and should become a top player at his position given his ability to rack up points on the power play and even strength. He is a prime candidate to push for a roster spot with the Kings in the fall, and once he finds his stride in the NHL, the window to acquire him in Dynasty and Keeper Leagues will surely be closed if it is not already. Obviously, this write-up is coming from the perspective of a fantasy POV, you know, oh, you're going out there and drafting guys in your Keeper League, you might want to think about taking Brant Clark. But Clark, either way, has been so good as a defender and a guy that actually has been filling out that frame of his. I don't have the number right off the bat, but I do remember that when we talked about Clark back in 2019 or whatever the heck it was, I mean, I think he was less than six feet, if not six feet flat, something like that. So he's definitely grown, which is not surprising for a guy who was 16 when we talked about him the first time on this YouTube channel. But either way, if you take a look at some of the things that Brand Clark has done recently, especially for the LA Kings in the 
what is it called, the Prospects Showcase that they had, it becomes so much easier to get hyped up for him and his play. Not only did Brent Clark go out there and exhibit the same patience, the same offensive creativity and fluidity and passing skills and puck skills that he had displayed in the OHL beforehand, but he also displayed a level of toughness mentally that had a lot of people respect this guy after the fact. I'm talking about a game between the LA Kings and the Vegas Golden Knights prospects that we had seen, where at the end of the regulation period, Clark took a very bad hit by Carter Souch, who is a Vegas Golden Knights prospect, in the corner before the third period came to an end. He got rammed over and it was like head first, it was really not good. Souch was assessed a match penalty on the play, so he was taken out of the game. The game then went to overtime, but unfortunately Clark and all the other guys, they couldn't really convert on anything that was given to them. But when the game went to a shootout, Brant Clark was thrown out there. And Brant Clark in the shootout was just an absolute boss, a stone cold killer, as he slowly gallops in down the right side. He holds the puck in his forehand, teases maybe a backhand, but then he quickly goes back forehand and shoves the puck five hole on the Vegas goaltender. After scoring the goal, Clark immediately goes to the corner of the ice, he pushes his stick into the boards, and he opens the door and walks off. It is the walk-off Selly that we had seen in the AHL last year, being done by Brant Clark here, after just getting completely taken out of the play in an unfair way at the end of regulation, and then scoring the shootout winner it was an absolute bad-to-the-bone move. And if you search up Brant Clark's name on Twitter, you'll see a lot of the clips of what he was able to do for the LA Kings prospects, the connection that he had with Francesco Pinelli, saucer passes, precision passes, just the absolute wizardry on display for Clark and the way he's able to move the puck around in the offensive zone. And this is kind of what we were seeing all those years ago in 2019, when some Ontario-based scouts were saying that Brant Clark was sort of a right-handed version of Quinn Hughes. Not necessarily the agility and the spinning ability, that's a really interesting kind of way to put it, but yeah, the spinning ability for Brant Clark. But just the offensive potential, the amount of points that this guy's going to be able to create in the NHL because of how smart he is and how skilled he is at passing, opening up space, and converting on his chances. Brent Clark could realistically, to me, max out as a right-handed number one pair defenseman that maybe gets upwards of 60 to 70 points per season. Like, there really is a sky-high ceiling with this guy. And I know there might be some Kings fans that might go out there and say, wait a minute, Lego, you made a video about Clark a few months ago questioning how good he was and debating as to whether or not he would have been better than Moritz Sider because that was the ranking that we had seen back in that time frame. I want to make things very clear though, both of these guys, Sider and Clark, I like these guys a lot. It's just former Ed Sider and what he is today, he has the physical tools, the defensive capabilities, and the defensive reliability that is unmatched throughout anybody else in his age group. So for Clark to even be sniffing that same territory, I feel like he's going to have to compensate tremendously with his offense, which is going to be difficult to do because Moritz Sider is already a 50-point defenseman in and of himself anyway, so yeah, it's going to be tough to definitively say that Clark is going to be better than Sider as an all-around defenseman unless he takes a huge above-and-beyond offensive step to the point that it potentially outweighs the value of what Sider can do both offensively and defensively. But either way, for Brant Clark and what he is right now, you're talking about Drew Doughty and a replacement for him long-term. Yeah, you've already got him in your system. It's Brant Clark. This guy, I still do feel, has a ceiling that rivals that of the Owen Powers and the Luke Hughes of the world, and I definitely do want to believe in everything that we had seen like three or four years ago, talking about how good he was as a prospect, because yeah, I'm a really big fan of Clark, and I think you should be as well. So, for LA Kings fans, talk to me in the comments about your thoughts about the Brent Clark Redemption Tour, how he went from Slovakia over to the Barry Colts, and what he's going to do next season. I'd seen a lot of Kings fans saying, hey, he was so good in the prospect tournament, and he's been so mature and poised this entire time that it'd be kind of tough to send him back to the OHL. What do you think? Do you think he should go back to Barry, or should he start out in LA once and for all for 2022-2023, play the nine games, and burn off that year in his ELC? Talk in the comments all your thoughts about Brant Clark and his projection. I hope you enjoyed this video. Share out of Trolls 99. And bye.